Today, we are drinking a Guatemalan coffee masterpiece called Palhu. This delightful brew comes from the Palacios family's three generations long tradition of coffee production. The name Palhu is a blend of the family name Palacios and Huehue Tanango, home of the Palacios estate. Maximiliano is the craftsman whose meticulous process elevates coffee production at the La Providencia estate to a proper art form. The unique beauty of this 600 acre estate is the mill, strategically positioned on a high slope which allows ripe coffee cherries to wash downhill through a series of long canals. The fruit is then depulped and left to ferment for 36 hours in large tile covered tanks. Next the coffee flows through another series of sluiceways, separating the beans by density. At the end End of this journey, the coffee conveniently washes onto the patio where the water runs off and the beans are sun dried. Now you get to experience an intricate and carefully planned journey that starts in the high slopes of San Pedro and Nectra and ends in your coffee cup. <laughs> All right, cupping Guatemalan coffee from Weiwei Tenango. How many of you have been waiting for the Weiwei Tenango of the year? I think we found it. In the nose, I smell a rich floral cinnamon aroma. The body's juicy, it's filled with baker's chocolate cinnamon toast. The finish is clean and it's rings of sweet licorice candy. When you enjoy a cup of Guatemalan Huehue Tenango Finca La Providencia Palu, you're taking part in the Palacios family's three generation commitment to tradition, quality, and environmental responsibility. Mark my words, this will be the finest Guatemalan coffee we will drink this year, and it's absolutely fantastic. I'm so glad to have it and to be able to share it with you. Mwah! I love you guys. Thanks for stopping in. Have a great cup of coffee, and I'll see you again next week. Down in the dirt. Down in the dirt. The fruit. Get a muffler. <laughs>